This is a brushless DC motor also known as BLDC motor. These motors are widely used in high RPM applications like drones, UAVs and other aircraft. They come in various sizes and power ratings but one of the key specifications to pay attention to is the KV rating. Today I've got three similar BLDC motors with KV ratings of 1000, 1400 and 2200 and we are going to put them to the test. I'll be testing these motors on the motor thrust testing setup I built earlier. Compare their performance, explain the differences and recommend the best applications for each KV rating so make sure to stick around till the end. To drive these motors, you'll need an electronic speed controller also called ESC. Connect the three wires from the ESC to the motor. I'm using a servo tester to control the thrust and a 12 volt lithium battery for power. I'll also be using this DC current meter for monitoring the voltage, current and power consumption of the motor. You can find links to all the parts used in the description below. I'm using the motor thrust tester that I built previously. If you want to see how I made it, you can check out the video linked here. Let's start with the 1000 kV motor. I'm going to fix it onto the plate and slide it on top of the weight scale mount. I'll be using these propellers which are 5 inch and 10 inch in diameter. Always wear safety glasses when working with high speed propellers. Now let's turn the potentiometer on the servo tester and see what kind of thrust we get. At low throttle with 1 amp current we see a thrust of 78 grams at 12 watts. At 50% throttle we are seeing a thrust of 150 grams and at full throttle the thrust is about 200 grams. I then swap the propeller for the 10 inch one and we get to see an impressive thrust of 113 grams at 1 amp. Three twenty-eight grams at half throttle and a whopping 716 grams at full throttle. I've run the same tests on the 1400 kV and 2200 kV motors and here are the results. Through these tests, we can determine the thrust we obtain per watt of electrical power used and thus determine the efficiency of the motor in terms of grams per watt. The highest thrust recorded was of 1017 grams with the 2200 kV motor when used with the 10 inch propeller. We get the highest efficiency of about 9 grams per watt with the 1000 kV motor used with 10 inch propeller at a low throttle input. As we can see, the grams per watt gets lower as we increase the throttle and also with the KV ratings of the motor. What we can conclude from this information is that if you require higher speeds and higher load carrying capacity, you can go for a motor with higher KV ratings. But note that this will take a toll on your battery and have lower efficiency and less flight time. On the contrary, if your goal is longer flight time and moderate speeds and load carrying capacity, you can opt for a motor with lower KV ratings. So what exactly is the KV rating? In simple terms, the KV rating represents the RPM the motor produces per volt applied. For example, a 1000 KV motor should theoretically spin at 12000 RPM at 12 volts, though this doesn't account for load factors. Obviously, there are many other factors to consider such as battery voltage, motor efficiency and build quality, type of propellers, etc. But this information can be a good starting point for designing a propulsion system. I hope you found this video useful and I'll see you guys in the next one.